A lady that's 48 years old, she already had a ritidectomy, didn't quite deliver because she's actually volume depleted. And this is about a week out. You can see even though it's very robust, there is youth through that uh, overfilled look. And a month out, even though it may look a little robust, it looks very, very soft and youthful. And about three months, this is an example of, I want to show you two extremes. The two extremes are one, of one person that really has not much of a dip. This is a lady that has very little dip. And even at six months, where it may have dropped a little bit later on, it's not, it's not bad. And if she was left with this result, I think she would be quite happy. But if you start watching this, at 11 months, it starts to pick up. And at 15 months, you can see how soft it looks. And this is without eyelid surgery, facelift, and all that. It's just a soft fill to the face. This is my worst example, someone that truly, truly dips hard. This is a week out and it looks youthful but slightly distorted. As we get into the three-month phase, I would say this looks almost the same. And the way that I phrase it for my patients is picture these two, you are having lunch with this person, having lunch with this person. Your blink effect is that both of them look about the same. But as we get into the year margin, you start to see the way that light interacts with this face is tremendously different. The camera is even it's almost changing the metering here. And you can see that there's a glorious look to the face. But has it truly succeeded? Because our measure for success is that every little nook and cranny is perfect. And I would say she was actually ecstatic with her lower eyelids. But if you look at this consistent photograph, this is a failure. But is the face a failure? And the problem of what we try to do is articulate the face into tiny little pieces. And my goal is to have you judge the face just like you would judge someone socially. You don't judge their tear trough. You judge their face from a social interaction. And I call this a 5% rule, which is the idea that if fat is done well, if you hit enough little places, the face looks really, really nice, even though little tiny pieces don't quite make it. So the way that I help my patients understand this is I use the paradigm of a bed. I say that fat is your mattress and fillers are your duvet and Botox and lasers are your sheets. And if you think of it that way, they won't look at this as a failure. They'll look at this and understand that, hey, I just look great. Now, if they don't look great and we haven't hit that wow effect, that's when we come back and add a little more fat. And I don't charge them for the touch up. This is a lady at about a month and we follow her over time. This is about three months and she doesn't dip too much. Nine months out, it's starting to grow. At one year, and then about two years out, it just starts to blend even further. This is a gentleman where I'm more conservative with volumes. I think we have to be more conservative with volumes here. This is a week. And with, at a month, it's, it's not bad, but it's starting to dip. At three months, it almost looks the same as preoperatively. At six months, it's starting to improve. As we get into the nine month range, again, nothing is perfect, but the person looks better. And about a year out, the way you interact with the person on the right is different, but you want to keep conservative with men because they look better with lower volumes, in my opinion. This is a week out, one month out. These are all without touch ups, nine months, two years. And you can see that it really holds well if you just are conservative with your volumes. And you've heard the book. Hope you can join me in St. Louis for a hair course. It's really great in July. And I uh, appreciate your attention. The, um, let's, let's spend a few minutes. I've got a couple minutes here um, to ask. Why don't we just go to the questions now? We don't have that much time. Anyone have any questions here that they want to ask? <laughs> yes.